Do you ever get tired of the same big chain restaurants and get an itch to try something new? Well, we did. So come with us while we set out to find the small town restaurants worth the drive. This is Awesome Eats. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Awesome Eats. Currently right behind us is the Twisted Sisters in Chamberlain, Saskatchewan. Now, if you guys are somebody between uh, Regina, Saskatchewan and you travel along this highway, it is somewhere that everyone seems to stop at some point in their life. Mostly well known for their ice cream here. I've had it a few times as a younger kid growing up and it is like some of the best soft serve ice cream that I have ever had, in my opinion. Everyone talks about it and whenever I go on road trips and pass through here, it's so busy. Right now there's tons of people there's lots of space to just like sit down have an ice cream a bite to eat they have other foods but I think we're gonna focus on ice cream for now because it's kind of what they're most known for and they're twisters because twisted sister it's kind of like a blizzard from Dairy Queen but their own version so let's go check it out located in a village in Saskatchewan of about a hundred people yes it's that small. Twisted Sisters is a unique ice cream stand that brings crowds of people from all over. They probably see more visitors here a day than their whole population, honestly. And it's for good reason too, because their cold treats are delicious, from their milkshakes to their slushes, sundaes, cones, and their most famous twisters. You honestly can't go wrong with stopping here on a hot summer day. So we kept it simple with a Butterfinger Twister and a soft serve ice cream twist. Butterfinger twister, please. And a soft ice cream twist. So I have a twisted sister. <laughs> Just as I remember. I think the last time I had the soft served ice cream here, I was probably like, oh, it's been a long time. So I was probably like 12, 13 years old. I think the first time I came here was probably, probably like six or seven going to visit my grandparents in Regina. This is like one of those sentimental places that from my childhood growing up. It's just all around great place to be. It's and melting fast. This ice cream is melting fast, so I gotta stop talking and I gotta start eating it. <laughs> It looks so good. Mm. Okay, so I got a butter finger twister, and it looks like this comes in this little cup, and we're gonna try it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Unlike some ice cream blended things that can just have all the stuff like at the bottom, this is all throughout, like you get pieces all throughout it. If you guys can see, literally every single bite is filled with butter finger pieces. Mmm. The ice cream is so Creamy. It's soft, it's creamy, it's delicious. Mmm. Mm. Try some. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Oh my god, that chocolate? So good, right? Yeah, the vanilla is so creamy. It's just like the same as in there, but chocolate's really good. Mmm. <laughs> okay, now give it back. <laughs> well, that was delicious, but now let's go check out the food in Regina Beach. So the next stop on our journey is, as you can see behind us, the Waterfront Beach Bar and Grill. And it's in Regina Beach, Saskatchewan. I've actually never been here before. It's absolutely beautiful. And just as the name says, there is a beach here. It's absolutely gorgeous. But we're focusing our attention on this right now. From what we've heard from some people, apparently on the weekends here, they have everything ranging from like live entertainment to karaoke. It sounds like it's a really good place and it's got some really delicious food. And if you can see that there, the patio up top looks out into the water and this is actually the largest patio in Saskatchewan. Apparently, that's what their website says. So we can take the view in. It's a waterfront, just like it says. It's just off the shore of Regina Beach. So we're excited to eat food and try different things and just stuff our faces. <laughs> you ready to go eat? Yeah, let's go. Starving, let's go. Here we go. Okay, Regina Beach. Where do I even start with this place? As soon as you drive in, it doesn't even feel like you're in Saskatchewan. With its amazing scenery and unique dining, it's a shame we couldn't show you all of them this episode. But we stopped at one with a very interesting menu and a beautiful view of the lake. Now check this place out. I wish you guys could really see it through my eyes because the video does not do it justice. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now the waitress let us in on their specialty there. Alcohol. <laughs> so we had to get some drinks, right? So while Austin got the Corona, I had a dill pickle Caesar, which was hands down the best Caesar I've ever had. And when I say that, I am not just saying that. Every time now I go to any other restaurant, I dream about this specific dill pickle Caesar. It was spicy, it had great flavor, didn't skimp on the alcohol or taste, and it had a very strong Worcestershire sauce taste. I know that's a very controversial word to say. I loved it, hands down amazing. Okay. So let's kick this off with the onion ring tower. The presentation of this thing is actually pretty cool. And it comes out with the homemade French onion banana pepper dip, which was honestly, I feel like something I haven't really tried before. 
was very good and I don't think I could eat onion rings with anything else ever again, to be honest. The onion rings had a beautiful crunch to them. They were golden brown and they were nice and sweet on the inside. Honestly, this thing was a head turner when we got it brought out to the table. Everyone's eyes were on us. That was actually pretty cool. I'd say it was Instagram worthy if you guys want to take it that route. The next thing we got was the Italian grilled cheese. We got kettle chips as a side and they were golden brown, nice and very crispy, which is something you don't usually get. A lot of places they come out more soft than crispy, so it was definitely a nice change. Now guys, check this out. Pepperoni, bacon, pepperoncini, tomato, garlic aioli, matzah, and cheddar cheese is what lies between the bread of this beautiful sandwich. The bread was garlic, buttery, and toasted with a great crunch and the perfect amount of filling. I would probably say this is one of the best things we've tried in this episode. You take a bite of this sandwich and the cheese just strings off your mouth. It is absolutely savory and it pairs well with the crunch of the pepperoncini. Okay, now for the last thing. My personal favorite, the walleye wings. These were so different, the waitress had to give us a heads up before we got them. Some people get surprised when they come out. We were a bit intimidated by the looks of these, but when we got into them, they were absolutely delicious. Now, a walleye wing is not really a wing at all. It is actually the meat beneath the fin of the fish. With a thin layer of batter, which was seasoned perfectly. The meat inside was so juicy, plump, and tender. The flavor of these were absolutely incredible. They were definitely worth the try if you can enjoy seafood. It was paired with a side of spicy tzatziki sauce, which complemented these wings perfectly. You can tell how much we both love these because we finished them all. We've been talking about it, and we're gonna take the drive just to go back there for the beach and the walleye wings. Okay guys, so we just finished our meal. We are absolutely stuffed. I'm so full. I don't even know how we're gonna eat dinner. And like this beautiful view, like we're in Saskatchewan. It's gorgeous. Like <laughs> what is it? Like we're in yeah. Saskatchewan, this is crazy. Okay guys, so we got one stop left on episode two. It is called the Freebird in Lumsden, Saskatchewan. I've been so looking forward to this one. Now their motto for this place is common food done uncommonly well, which perfectly represents every single thing on their menu. They have lots of vegan and vegetarian options and they use a lot of homegrown ingredients and that is why their menu is constantly changing and they're constantly putting different things on the menu every so often to keep it fresh and new. So we're very excited to try this place. Yeah, you can kind of see it like right behind us right here. I mean, it was hard for us to kind of get a good shot right in front. <laughs> so hopefully you can kind of get an idea of it. And I'm most excited to try their Pop Rock alcohol drink. So <laughs> let's yeah. go get that first. Do it. <laughs> Located about 20 minutes outside of Regina, we are in Lumsden, Saskatchewan. This newly opened restaurant called The Freebird has so many people talking because of their food presentation and huge flavor. The vibe and decor inside was my favorite of this episode. It felt very hip and modern. I got the Pop Rocket Lady, which is pink lemonade with raspberry vodka rimmed with Pop Rocks. So unique. The lighting was more for a chill vibe having a nice dinner rather than a filming vibe, so we took our adventure out to their front patio. It pops right in your mouth like, Take a little bit of that and then drink. <laughs> I am having a Diet Coke. It's a beautiful day out here. Um, this is our view right now. So why not spend it outside? Let's get some food in these bellies. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God, everything looks absolutely unbelievable. Look at everything. Oh my God. So first of all, we're gonna try. Crazy how it'd be like that. <laughs> the chicharrones. Is it chicharrones or chicharrones? I have no idea. I don't know. But they either. look good. This is what it's looking like. I wonder if we can get a sound of these. They're cracking. They're Ooh. cracking. There's a dip. I'm just gonna try them on their own first. Mmm. So they're fried pork rinds. Mm. Oh my god, they dip. It's like an aioli. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. It's like an aioli. Mm. It's delicious. Mmm. Mm. They're not too greasy, super crunchy as you guys can probably tell. <laughs> a nice spice to them, but they're not spicy. Mm. That is so different. I've never tried something like that before. They're very light and airy. They don't taste like pork. They don't like yeah. a pork chop or something it like that. It tastes more like a chip, a light chip with aioli. Really like good though, really good. Okay, so what's up next? Tacos, let's go with the tacos. Ooh. 
guys, take a look at these. How is that for tacos, hey? Oh my God. Taco time who? So these are shrimp tacos. It looks like with a slaw on them, a nice drizzling of I'm not sure what, but these look unbelievable. The plates they come onto are so cute. Oh, they're really full. A little bit pea-like. <laughs> Juices are definitely coming out. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Those are good. The shrimp is so tender, mm -hmm. juicy, big. Wow. Oh, they don't taste like tiny little shrimps that, oh my God, these, those chicharrones are cracking everywhere. They're very runny though. Like they're like peeing everywhere, but it has a it's nice so kick much to it. flavor in them. Yeah. They're really good. Mm -hmm. They definitely do not skimp on flavor at all in any way, shape or form. I am so excited for this salmon, you guys. It mm. looks so good. It smells so good. It comes with dill cream sauce. It looks like with like a grainy mustard in there as well. Um, a nice arugula salad on the side and some roasted potatoes. The salmon is beautifully cooked. Oh, that is so yeah. tender. It's so tender you can't even put it on a fork. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. So a little hot. Wow. That doesn't even taste like salmon, it tastes like a chunk of butter. Yeah, oh my god. No, literally. So, that is properly cut. This sauce. is absolutely delicious. This is probably some of the best salmon I've ever had, to be honest. And I come from BC, I've eaten a lot of salmon. Me too. This is delicious. Not that I come from BC. <laughs> yeah. I've eaten, uh, I love salmon. This is like pure butter, it's perfectly mm, cooked. It's just falling apart. This sauce really complements it well. It yeah. is like a little bit sweet, savory. Actually, it's a lot sweet. Mm -hmm. Pears and really nice with the fat and the salmon. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay. Potato cheers. Mm, it's potatoes. a nice golden roasted potato. Yeah, they're well cooked. I feel like with everything else, it's like seasoned to the nines. And yes. the potatoes are just like kind of there. True, there's not like a huge kick on the potatoes. The last thing we have to try are these beautiful truffle fries with a garlic aioli on the side. Oh, they come with like a parmesan on top. Mm. Let's try it. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, those the, are delicious. I can already tell eating these, my breath is gonna stink. Delicious. These fries are perfectly cooked mm -hmm. as well. They cooked everything very well. No complaints here from anything. Mm -hmm. The food is absolutely amazing, as we knew it would be. That's why we came here. Yeah, hats off to the Freebird. Love you, Freebird. Delicious food. Thank you. We're gonna chow down now, and we'll right. come at you guys with what our favorites were of the day. We just finished up at the Freebird. It was absolutely amazing. We have two to-go boxes in the back because there's just a lot that we couldn't finish. We're just gonna say our favorite thing of episode two out of everything we ate today. What was your favorite? Uh, honestly, you know what? It was kind of a hard decision between fish wings from the waterfront grill and the salmon from the freebird but honestly i think i'd have to i'd have to go with the, the fish wings from the waterfront grill they are absolutely amazing and they're something i've never tried before and i will definitely eat them again hands down without a doubt mine is the fish wings from the waterfront <laughs> as well like those i could right now i'm so full i could have a basket of those right now they were absolutely and they were so unique and they were just oh my god oh, yeah. the best the best yeah. so if you guys do check out any of these places definitely let us know and let us know in the comments as always what your favorite food item was thanks for watching this episode everyone we'll catch you in the next one